Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at your person, no communication or people, right? The people that are on your mind, you're not communicating with these people. Let's see what's going on. Give me a message. Oh, we got one. I don't want to lose your love. I'm afraid I might lose you. This is a message from your person. This is what they're telling you. All right. They're scared they're going to lose you, right? They don't want to lose your love. Give me more for the collective, please. No communication. What's the next message? I wanted to play the field and look where it got me. Nowhere. Somebody's having some regrets. They may have walked away from you. Somebody may have ghosted you or something like that. That's the energy that I'm getting. Give me more for the collective, please. For no communication. <sighs> Give me more. What's going on, please? What's going on? Okay, we got one. I'm really sorry about everything. This card came out reverse. So this person wanted to play the field. They know they got nowhere, but they're not sorry that they did it. All right, they had their fun, they were playing the field. And they're saying they want, basically they want to be with you, but they want to play too. And they're not sorry about whatever they did, which is play the field, obviously. So let's see, what else is going on for the collective, please? Give me more messages. All right, um, I'm learning to open up my heart. Somebody is not able to open their heart. I feel like somebody really doesn't want to. I feel like the risk of opening one's heart is to actually fall in love with somebody. And I feel like this person may not be ready to do that. However, there might be some awareness or knowledge coming up because I see where they don't want to lose you. But you'll find out with any ex that you walk away from. You walk away scot-free, right? You walk away without the kids. You walk away. If I walk away from you, I don't have any kids with you. I walk away. I don't ask you for money in a divorce. I don't ask you for a house. Clean break. Let me tell you how these dudes be shook. They, they will lose their... They don't want to be with you, but they will lose their minds if you walk off into the sunset and... All right. You said what you said. I, I accept that. Good. The minute you give in and you be like, bye, don't fight for these dudes or women or whoever these people are. And then watch how they act. They will wild out and chase you for years. Trust me. I'm so lost right now. I'm confused. Well, I feel like this person kind of made up their mind when they decided they wanted to play the field. So it looks like they don't want to lose you. But they're not sorry for what they've done. They have not opened up their heart. Since your last encounter with this person, they have not opened up their heart. They admit they wanted to play the field, but now they're lost, right? But again, please keep in mind, when you listen to somebody tell you or explain, if you, if you care to listen to the person, right, then you're going to be like, what happened? When this person tells you the story, please keep in mind that these two things are still very obvious here. They're not sorry for what they did. So they ghosted you, cheated on you, played the field, and got them nowhere, but they're not sorry for it. This person is not opening up their heart, but they are lost. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull some other cards and see what's going on here. Give me messages, no communication, please. All right. This person... Let me not say that. Hold on. Let me shuffle these up. I'm going to shuffle them again. Because I was going to read them some other time. I see something here with the moon. This person got some secrets. I, all my reads today, the moon has been coming out. Moon, uh, moon and Page of Cups. Somebody's got a sibling or something like that. They did something. Or you guys have this younger child who made some emotional decision. Give me what does I don't want to lose your love and I wanted to play the field. What happened with this person or what happened in this relationship to help the collective resonate with who this could be some of you guys could be dealing with an aries a leo a sagittarius there's some movement this person wants to travel towards you or there's some news coming in some swift news coming in i feel like this person may want to talk to you or send a message to you whatever that's about right uh whoever this is here i feel like there is news coming in but the news is of change this person may have changed your mind and decided oh changed their mind and decided I don't want to lose you after I played the field, after I did this and that, I don't want to lose you, right? So that's what they're saying right now. And they're going to send you, or they want to send some news. It looks like there's some news coming in about something. Hold on, y'all. Let me get these. Definitely some news coming in about something here. This person wanted to play. What's the news about? What's the movement coming in from this person with this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy? Or this could be you guys. You could be an Aries Leo or Sag. Somebody doesn't want to lose you. We have nine of cups. I wanted to play the field and look where it got me. There's some news coming in that you could be this person's wish fulfillment. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person has some news coming into you. They're sending you some news saying that you could be the one. I want to be with you. Wishes granted. Plenty of happiness. Wealth and comfort. 
So this is what this person is wishing to have with you, but it looks like they may have worked with a group of people or something. There was some celebration that was had. They thought this celebration would bring them some fulfillment here. Again, they could have, your per if this is not you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody could have been hanging out with a group of friends. You have the Three of Cups coming out reverse. Somebody could have been hanging out with a group of friends. This person probably had all types of whatever's going on, right? I see that there's some celebrations here. It looks like a circle of support. It's a group of friends. Somebody saying that they played the field. Somebody was hanging out with a group of people. This person understands that there was some gossip going on with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you could have been dealing with, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, with a group of friends. There could have been all types of extreme partying, right? Something that led to gossip or something like that. For some of you guys, there was an overindulgence in partying, overindulgence in sex, group sex. I hate to say it like that, but that's what I see here. It says here that now, because of too much partying, this person doesn't have any support. So this person took off on you because they wanted to play the field, or they literally just cheated all over you. And they're not sorry about it, let's be clear. However, they are being gossiped about, or people are talking about the relationship that you had with this person. People are gossiping. People are walking away from this person. They're not supporting this person. Give me more, please. I am learning to open my heart. Give me more. All right. So we also have here the emperor. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Aries here. This is about structure. Somebody could be in power. All right. You could be in a powerful position. You could be in leadership or something like that. This person is not able to open up their heart. Also, this person might have some issues manifesting whatever it is that they want. They might have some questionable stability but this is a leader it says it's upright this is a leader this is a masculine you could be a father this party with the three of cups reversed which is group sex and all this other stuff this emperor could have been involved with this group sex or this party and whatever people are gossiping about i got some messages earlier that somebody's waiting for the results it feels like it could be a paternity test you know i guess with these group sex parties or whatever they do because you have so many partners if you go test Guy number one, and he ain't daddy. I guess you got to test guy two, three, and four. So you might still, whoever you are, be waiting for the results to come back, whether you be male, female. You could be waiting to see if you're the father of a child. For some of you guys, you could be waiting to see if this person is the father of your child because of some sort of group sex or somebody has some partners or whatever. Okay, give me more, please. I'm lost and confused. Why is this person lost and confused? Because of the star energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. You guys could have gotten together. Or Aries and an Aquarius could have got together. There's some hope and healing that somebody's looking to have. They're saying that they're confused. But again, even though somebody wants some hope. Even though somebody wants to heal this situation. Right? Somebody wants to renew the situation. Somebody is looking for a miracle to happen. I feel like it's going to take a miracle for you guys to deal with this person. Because of the gossip. It's gossip. It's embarrassment. It's group sex. Somebody's being... Somebody in a position is being tested to see whether or not they're the daddy in a group sex thing. This is about a star or somebody in a public eye. This emperor could be in a public eye. You could be somebody in a public eye. It could be anything, a platform. It could be, you could really be a celebrity. You could be a mainstream celebrity, a plat or something like that. There's something here where somebody wants to have a new beginning, which is why you see the renewal piece of it here. But also this person is looking for solutions because they're lost. So the news coming in that you guys are going to get, it might be some news saying that you are their wish fulfillment. However, I was involved in a sex party and now I'm being tested to see if I'm the daddy and I'm waiting for results. A star, you could be in the public eye or you guys could have you know, made out with a celebrity, slept with a celebrity, whatever this is. All right. Tell me about the eight of wands and the nine of cups. What message are you going to give to the collective? What's this about? We have something here about the Six of Cups. This, think, this person is thinking about you. They're thinking about the time that you guys spend together. This person may want to meet up with you again. This person may want to give you a gift. But I feel like somebody is reminiscing about your relationship, which is the news coming in. I don't want to lose you. I remember the good times that we had together. There's something with romance here. Give me one more, please. You could be dealing again with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody has sex. Somebody had a new beginning or they want to have a new beginning with you. Somebody may want to work with you, creative ideas. All right, you guys might be on a project or somebody may inspire you to create. I don't know if you guys are creators. You may be. It looks like somebody's in the public eye or somebody has this very star quality about them. Somebody could be a creator. Somebody could have had sex with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. All right, that's somebody's urge to create. Could have created a child or something like that. Whatever. 
Give me more, please. Ace of Wands. What else is going on with this Three of Cups? So somebody did have sex at a group party. There's something with a body of work. There's something about an apprenticeship, something with you guys being productive or work or haul. Like this could have been a group of co-workers and friends or something like that. I feel like somebody may have tried to distract this person too from their work with the Ace of Wands. But it is a new creative idea, which extends to the Eight of Pentacles, which is a body of work. This is somebody working, mastering their crap, worried about, I'm working. That's what this person is worried about. So they're working and worrying about some sex capade that they had, whatever this is about. I don't know if you guys know about this. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or, um, or Virgo. Give me more for the Emperor and the Star, please. We have the Six of Wands, all right? So somebody wants to have some victory over something that they're doing. This might have to do with work. We have confirmation that this is somebody who's a big shot. This is somebody in leadership. Somebody may have done something so that they could get some sort of advance in a career, possibly. Let me move these over. All right, your person, again, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could have done something so they could get some advancement in their career here with the Six of Wands. They want to triumph over a situation. Somebody's moving on from something. It could be you getting some kind of victory. So if you guys were down before or whoever this is, there's some victory recognition. There's something that this person wants from you. They want... They want to have a victory with you. They want to achieve something with you. Ace of Cups, this person might want a new relationship with you. Maybe they want to start again. This feels like you guys could have been in a connection with these people before or this person before, whoever this is. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's water energy all over here, but there's also Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius. We have those energies. There's some new love that this person wants to start again with you. I'm lost. I'm confused about somebody in the public eye, a star, ace of cups. Somebody wants to propose to you guys. It could be a marriage proposal. It could simply just be, you know, I want to start the relationship again. Or somebody may want to, it might be a project. But when you see ace of cups, that's about a new baby coming. Somebody's got a new child coming with a celebrity. All right. There could be an Aries and an Aquarius who are having a baby together. If you're waiting for the test results, there's a possibility if you are an Aries or an Aquarius, you could be the daddy. I don't know. Those are the two major arcanas that show up. If somebody wants new love, a proposal, somebody wants to propose something to you, somebody that was once confused. Give me more. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. We have somebody trying to move away. Somebody wants to transition away from something. I'm not understanding. Transition. Somebody wants some kind of movement. Somebody wants some kind of change. So if you had a stalled relationship where this person stopped rocking with you, hold on. I feel like this person is trans. Either they're going to leave you alone and go elsewhere, or this person could have moved away. Somebody could have walked away from you guys. You may have some news from somebody who moved away. They're at a distance travel. This person could be moving on because they know that there's a possibility they may not be able to make something happen with you. So they may just be leaving it alone. But wanting you to know that they wanted to play the field. They got caught up and that's what happened. Literally. Give me more. We also have here seven of pentacles. Somebody's moving on because I feel like they might, they may want to grow something. Now we do have the eight of pentacles, right? Where somebody's focused on their body of work. But the seven of pentacles is somebody waiting for their harvest. Growth waiting. And somebody's doing the work to do it. So somebody's really focused on work and they might have moved. I'm moving on and focusing on work. Somebody's doing some hard labor. Mm. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's waiting to see what happened after the sex romp with this party. Could have been with an Aries Leo Sag. Could have been with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. There's something here about waiting. Somebody wants the victory. However, it looks like Ten of Pentacles. There is some dispute. Some of you guys are separated from somebody. This could have to do with... An inheritance, obviously. Um, it could have to do with somebody having some influence over your relationship. That could be another reason why you guys opted to bounce out of something. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You guys could have some older person in the family who doesn't want... If if your person is a person that has, because you see a lot of work here, this person's got a couple of, or they're working towards something, right? The Ten of Pentacles is coming up reverse. We see that this person is still working. They didn't get the Ten of Pentacles, but there is some dispute about it. So the cards are saying that this person is working hard, but they're working because they, number one, they have a lot on their minds. Number two, they have the Ten of Pentacles. They have some older person from a different generation getting all up in the mix and making decisions. Somebody's removed their name or somebody removed the name from a will, so it could be a dispute. The Ten of Pentacles is also about 
somebody uh, who is separated from somebody and they have to pay child support. So there's a disruption in your money. That's why there's hard labor. And you're going to have hard labor to the next. I don't know how old these kids are. I think 18. And I think if they kids, if you're 18, uh, child support continues. If you are in college, I think it continues until you're like 21 or something like that. So you got somebody trying to milk this, right? But they're going to make sure they get their bread. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yup, some group work went awry. So there was some sloppy group work to get the Ten of Pentacles. It didn't work for you. You guys could have been working with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sloppy group work. So I feel like this person is lost because they did not get the bag. As a matter of fact, if you are the bag, they fucked up. There's some sloppy group work. They did not get this inheritance. Somebody didn't get the child support because somebody probably ain't the daddy or whatever's going on here. Give me one more to close this out. We have the Queen of Wands. Somebody did some group work to go up against the Queen of Wands, right? They did something creative to F with a Queen of Wands. Somebody with courage. Somebody who is probably a fire sign. Somebody who has a lot of power. Give me one more so I understand what's going on here. Yep, you, somebody, a Queen of Wands is leaving somebody out in the cold. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Some sloppy group work. Somebody who's creative and passionate. Somebody tried to leave them out in the cold. Or this person's leaving you out in the cold, leaving loss, hard times, desperation, four of pinnacles. This sloppy group work, the story is continuous, right? What the story is saying here is that somebody worked very hard or somebody's working very hard for their finances, their money. Somebody comes in, tries to get child support. You got people all in your pockets trying to take it. You guys left the person behind who probably loved you or something like that to go to a group party with some effery involved. And you pay the price. You and your group sex is paying the price. You're broke. You ain't got no money. You left the queen of wands behind or whatever happened here. Whoever this person is, collective, F them. You know why? Because they was trying to get money. They were trying to secure the bag. This person still has no stability. This person is still greedy. This person's filing for bankruptcy. So you have the five of pentacles and you have the four of pentacles. Somebody's filing for bankruptcy, losing a home. All of this stuff that they tried to do to you, it looks like they're getting a rock, right? So we have the three of wands here. Somebody's going to have some success and expansion. This might be you, Collective, because you could be the queen of wands with the three of wands. There's an opportunity coming in for you to travel. I feel like if this person hurts you guys or whatever, you good. You're going to travel, right? Love relate. There's some sort of a breakup here, and that's fine, but you guys are going to travel. I don't think you guys are worried about this person. I think that the breakup with you and this person could be a Gemini. I think it's permanent. I think you're all set with it. This person tried to steal from you. Yep, that's why if you take a look at it, you got the Seven of Swords. Hold on. You got the Seven of Swords here. And then you have, where is the other card? I just saw it on the screen. Oh, okay. Here it is. <laughs> you have, um, what was I saying? You got the Seven of Swords and then you have the Five of Pentacles. So somebody was trying to steal something from you. It could have been a Gemini trying to steal something from you. Theft. They wanted wealth. They're being dishonest. They're a liar. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. And somebody's facing some kind of loss and regret. Some of you guys, you're a water sign probably. And there is somebody out there who is sad about this. They are disappointment. They are disappointed. There's some loss. There's some sorrow here. Somebody's grieving. Somebody feels abandoned. Maybe it's you that feels abandoned. But you shouldn't because this person did that to you, Collective. If you're the person who got hurt they did this to you so what you want to do is not give no what's about this person you let them focus on their child support or whatever they're doing that ain't your f to give you heard them i'm sorry i gotta stop hanging out with these listen the first sign somebody off it's all business if you see if straight up if y'all see somebody out there with all of this i don't want to lose your love but then it was that we're at a sex party whatever if you get down like that, sure, all right? If you're willing to go for all of this, but there's certain people who just ain't gonna... I feel you guys are walking away. Y'all know this relationship is over. Whoever you are, it could be a Gemini, but there's a breakup. Somebody lost. Somebody's in sorrow. Somebody's in regret. There's depression going on here. You guys could have a water sign that's depressed over something that they did. I feel like somebody lost you, and they're depressed about it, right? <laughs> and what's really funny is there's some kind of message coming in. Somebody had a kid. All right, so that's the situation. This is why this person may not be talking to you. If this person does contact you, this is, if they don't tell you this, this is what they're hiding. They got a baby from a sex party. They're waiting for the results. They tried to screw over a queen of wands and they got in the ass with no lube. So that's what the f you get. Love you. Bye.